The shock waves of the 2008 financial crisis continue to reverberate across Europe and the United States. Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse have agreed to pay the U.S. Justice Department a total of $12.5 billion. And the DOJ has decided to sue Barclays Bank. The lenders have been accused of selling mortgage-backed securities that were nearly worthless. Meanwhile, the Italian government has finally agreed to bail out its third biggest lender, Banca Monte dei Spaschi. As Harsukri has more. It was, by all accounts, a frantic couple of days for Deutsche Bank and the U.S. Justice Department. After months of wrangling, Germany's biggest lender agreed to pay $7.2 billion for selling mortgage-backed securities. The underlying home loans turned out to be distressed assets which were not being repaid by borrowers. But it and other banks failed to disclose that to the people who bought those securities. The settlement is about half the amount the Justice Department had originally asked for, and it only has to pay $3.1 billion immediately. It'll pay the other $4.1 billion over several years into a public fund to be distributed to people worst affected by the plunge in home prices. Meanwhile, Credit Suisse agreed to settle its dispute for $5.3 billion. That consists of a $2.5 billion upfront payment and $2.8 billion spread over five years for the public fund. This, this just means that um, any profits that these banks would have made, perhaps as we head into a higher interest rate environment, um, are going to be put aside for provisions for fines instead of being handed back towards, um, towards shareholders and reinvestment in the business. But the UK's Barclays Bank is still not out of the woods. It failed to reach a settlement with the DOJ and now faces a lengthy trial. Barclays described claims that it misled investors as being, quote, disconnected with the facts, unquote. But the troubles of these institutions are nothing compared to those of Italy's third biggest lender, Monte di Pasca di Siena, the world's oldest bank. It failed to raise the $5 billion demanded by the European Central Bank to shore up its finances. It was the weakest of 51 banks tested this year by the ECB for their resilience to financial shocks. The government says it will now step in to nationalize it. The risparmio. The objective is to make our banking system stronger and more solid. And within that system, our third bank, Monte di Paschi, for which I think today was an important day. Nearly a decade after the first signs emerged of weaknesses in the global financial system, regulators are getting tough on the institutions that had once seemed unsinkable. Azhar Sukri, TRT World. Well, Azhar joins me in the studio now. Azhar, why the rush to get the Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse deals done before the end of the year? Uh, well, firstly, of course, we are into the holiday season. That's one reason. Mm -hmm. But uh, perhaps the more important reason uh, is the fact that come January the 20th, <clears throat> it's going to be a completely different Justice Department in there under the Trump administration. Mm. So I think uh, the current administration is very keen to tie up all the loose ends as quickly as possible. Uh, remember, of course, of financial markets hate uncertainty. Mm. And the one thing that this deal does do is actually give a certain amount of certainty to these banks and to the financial institutions and the financial system. So perhaps that is probably the overriding reason. Well, that seems fair, but do you think that Deutsche, Credit Suisse and Monte de Paschi have perhaps been let off the hook somewhat? Interesting question. It really dep depends which side of the ideological debate you sit on. I mean, if you're like the analyst we had in the package there, an investor mm. in these banks, then uh, this is a great thing because it you know, takes away, as I mentioned earlier, that, that very major source of uncertainty. You now have clarity going forwards as to the profitability of these banks. But if you're um, someone who might have suffered uh, because, you know, these banks did what they did, uh, then certainly, yes, this is a pretty light, you know, uh, way to get off the hook. Uh, don't forget, <clears throat> Deutsche Bank was originally on the hook for about $14 billion from the uh, Department of Justice. And talking about Monte de Pasqua de Siena, it's also, you know, now ha uh, having a government bailout. <clears throat> so once again, that moral hazard issue raises its head once again. And they've all escaped. Thanks a lot, Azhar, for coming on and speaking to us.